Hey, we're gonna try. I think uh, we've moved around a little bit. But yeah, it never fails. But this is going to be a uh, top eight update. Hadn't really done one of those in a while, so we're just gonna talk about uh, tag teams that we either a like to watch, b uh, think are going somewhere, or c maybe shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't. Um, yeah, so uh, some background noise. I had a receipt somewhere. There it is. I made a list. He's cheating. So uh, <laughs> um, I've marked out a few because this, like I say, this is about the eighth time we tried this. Yeah, I so change again. I'm pretty positive. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get started. So what's your uh, what's your first team? Oh, I'm gonna go with the uh, Pump Patrol out of Texas, right? Yeah, no uh, Texas slash Louisiana. Okay. I think there's one and one, so they kind of meet in the middle. I got you. Jared Wayne and uh, Kurt Matthews yeah. both have been on Pro Wrestling Ego events. So yeah. that's cool in my book. We've known Kurt a while. So oh, absolutely, yeah. since his first days. Uh, Kurt's actually one of those guys from Mississippi that got out of Mississippi and doing very well for himself in the yeah. wrestling world. So uh, congrats to Kurt, for sure. True. All right, well, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I'm gonna put out the Pro Wrestling Ego Tag Team Champions, the Abbey Street Boot Boys. Uh, three guys that uh, definitely got potential. You know, um, whether you like them, hate them, love them, you know, whatever, you're definitely gonna be entertained by them. So, you remember? Um, yeah, absolutely. So, shout out to the Boot Boys. That's my first. Get a little closer. Next will be the uh, the Hooligans. Ah, the Hooligans. Wow, that's awesome. And my main reason for them is just they're bigger guys that do stuff you don't see anybody else do in this area. Unofficial. And uh, I yeah. think they got a good personality. Absolutely. Uh, definitely guys that, you know, kind of like the Abbey Street Boot Boys, you're going to remember them, yeah. you know, whether you like them or not. So, yeah, it's a good pick. All right, well, I'm going to go with the Douglas Ducklings, based out of, uh, I think, North Carolina, maybe. Uh, and uh, it's a three man that. group, sometimes two man group. But those guys are very creative. Like they took advantage of a, you know, kind of a, a missing link. You know, I guess you'd say a missing spot. There was something missing, okay. and uh, three man groups were getting popular, and they jumped in. So true. Uh, um, I know they've been on TNA. Yeah, yeah. So very cool for them. So that's my number two. Okay. Um, I'll go with the TV group for now, and I right. pick the Briscoes. Mainly because I like their promos and I like their <laughs> wrestling work. Yeah, Briscoes have been favorites of mine for a long time. And they're more or less like people we know. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, more or less. So, yeah. uh, it, it, they, they definitely have that Southern. independent spirit at yeah. heart, you know. So They have that Southern quality. Yeah, absolutely. Something about growing chickens make you yeah. have that Southern quality. Shotgun. Yeah, so, uh, all right, well, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm just going to make my way down the list. I've got the boys. Uh, you've seen them with Dalton Castle, but I, I first saw them as the Tate Twins. They, they were in TCW when that was short-lived. Uh, it was on television on like a sporting channel or something. One of those channels you don't really watch that much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was on TV. Uh, yeah, absolutely. At one time, that you know, the thing was TCW had the second, uh, the only people that were in more homes, the only wrestling product that was in more homes around the world. Yeah. Oh, you know, it was WWE, so they were kind of number two on that, that list. So, so it's syndicated, right? Uh, it was everywhere. Really? So okay. uh, it was on Dish Network and, you know, hey, all that works. good stuff. So, so definitely shout out to the boys who are now in <coughs> Ring of Honor. So uh, get to go with them. So that's three okay. for me, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Try to remember. Uh, Barry Wolf and uh, Lucas Frost. I've only seen them tag one time, and that was in uh, the Legend Showdown with J.D. McKay. Right, right. And, uh, like I say, I think their match probably stood out as one of the best wrestling, wrestling matches of the night. Oh, I could agree with that. <laughs> and uh, definitely agree with that. Uh, hopefully, there's something coming up with them through them too, and uh, I'm want, wanting to see where it goes. Right, right. All right well, I'm gonna go with the Heat Seekers, um, Elliot Russell and. I went blank. <laughs> uh, and Elliot's partner. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I know his name. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I should have wrote it down. But they're based out of Tennessee. Okay. Um, been everywhere, you know. The NWA Tag Team Champions. Uh, NWA Smoky Mountain Tag Team Champions. 
Uh, I'm sure more than I can list, but uh, shout out to the heat seekers. I, you know, I like their styles. You know, the, I like what they're doing. Let's put it like that. Either I can't remember the guy's name. <laughs> My apologies, sir. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, you make me use my brain. Um, you know what? I wasn't going to name them, but I will name them because I like them both uh, as far as wrestlers go. Uh, Mississippi Players Club with Chris Black and uh, Pharaoh Funk. Wow. And uh, both guys been around for a while. Yeah, both of them, you know. And uh, I like it. You get a more technical aspect out of Black, and you get the showmanship, the showman, and the funk out of the Pharaoh. <laughs> He's definitely funky. So, so it's not a bad choice for sure. All right, well, I'm gonna go with some uh, maybe relative unknown guys to some people, but they're called Lethal Injection mm -hmm. uh, or the Mercury Brothers. I think they've went by both names. They're based in Arkansas. Uh, we actually have them on an upcoming event. Um, at the end of April, and Bruce when we debut in Bruce, so they they'll be making their debut in Ego, and I'm uh, excited to see them in action. So looking forward to it. Okay. You know I wasn't gonna do this, but hell, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with this area right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna go with Lead and Edge too. Yeah. And Monty Warbucks Warbuck and Calvin Rose. Rose. Absolutely. Uh, probably the very first independent tag team I ever saw. Honest to God. I can say that. And like. I become a fan and yeah. like a huge fan and at the time they were actually wrestling against each other and then i started to see them tag it with again tag together and it kind of threw me off but i think it was just writing at the time at the building right but i mean i well, probably one of the first tag teams i think of when i think of tag team wrestling that's awesome uh i'm gonna go with the former team iou now the carnies mm -hmm. uh carry awful nick iggy they're doing great stuff man they they've I'm not going to say I was really just a huge fan of them when I first started watching them. And honestly, I haven't watched a ton of their work. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, just every so often I just kind of check them out to see how they're doing. And uh, they're really coming into their own now um, with the Carnies. Like, they're, it's really working. So, and I'd say in the last year, year and a half, I've really become fans of theirs. So, I hopefully mean, one day we can get them an ego. I've um, never seen them wrestle, but I see posters with them yeah. all the dead one time. I'll tell you one thing that I really liked um, – and I just saw this. It has nothing to do with them wrestling. It's just mm -hmm. marketing their sales. But you've seen the game. It's like cornhole or whatever. You toss the bean bags in the little wooden thing or whatever. Um, it's kind of like horseshoes. Okay. Uh, but with bean bags. And you oh, try like to make they it have to like hole. the little church, yeah. church shows yep. and stuff well, like that? Well, they've, yeah. they've decked out one of those in the cornies. And they got it there, like at their uh, souvenir stand. And... Uh, Every fan gets a prize. Like if you make it in the hole, you get you know eight by tens, t-shirts, whatever. Like, so uh, very yeah. cool that they're just that's different. They're incorporating the carny, the carnival yeah. into their you know their character more than just Step right up and try yeah you know more than yeah, just um, more than just their look. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They're they're trying to so I I love it. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, very cool. I think I'm gonna steal it. So, <laughs> sorry guys, but very you, cool. You know, I you like that. Say an idea in wrestling, somebody will borrow. Oh, it. absolutely. All right, well, golly, must have stayed in the south. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, Peacemakers, uh, Buzzed Up and uh, Jeremiah Plunkett. Yeah. And until yesterday, I'd never seen them wrestle a tag match, and I'd seen Plunkett push and push and push to get them ta uh, booked as tag team. Right. And I was always like, his partner's a big dude. I just don't know if he'll be able to, you know, be it. But as a team, they play off each other very, very well. Yeah. And uh, I'm definitely interested to see. I'd like to see them come up here if we could ever pull off like a tag tournament or something, which I know it cost a lot. But, but you never know. You never, never know. say never. Exactly. All right. Well, uh, my number seven is, and it's a team that I'm. I think they're not necessarily split up, but you named a bunch of split up teams. I mean, I can't help it. You know, uh, it's the way wrestling works. Like nobody wants to be a tag team anymore. So I mean, uh, but it's team roll tide. It was Ryan Ocean, Frankie Thomas. Trucker Jones and Miss Brittany, their manager. Um, I think Frankie and Ocean tagged a lot, and then Ocean went on kind of a singles, and then Frankie and Trucker started tagging. Mm -hmm. But just that, uh, it, it just seemed to fit. Like, it seemed to click with them. You know, like, I'm not going to say it was, you know, the best characters, you know, or whatever, but it worked. And that, that's what I liked about it was that it worked. When I saw them, I, 
I seen a video, and I think it was just them coming out of the entrance. Yeah. And it reminded me of the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. And I don't mean that as they were a comedy gimmick, but this is the Blue Collar part. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I like it, you know. All right. So, what's your number eight? Uh, I guess because the final one, I'm going to go with the most popular tag team probably out there right this minute, and that's the Hardys. Yeah. And I was just reading where the WWE did finally offer them a contract. I don't Please know don't if, they, if they signed them or not. Please but, don't go. Uh, that's on them, you know what I mean? But they're so popular right now, I don't think they need it. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, hell, they could wait another year or so and go, then go. Yeah. I'm going to give my number eight, then I'm going to go off on a little tangent just to close it up. Okay. But, uh, all right, my number eight, and it's a tag team that just recently split up, or I think they split up, uh, but it's the Bruiserweights. John Schuyler, Corey Hollis. thought they had nothing but a lot of potential. But what I liked most about it was I was a fan of – the horsemen growing up mm -hmm. and essentially they have a horseman group like a southern horseman and it's them uh gunner from tna and hangman adam page yeah, and cw anderson uh you know he's an extreme horseman in japan or whatever mm -hmm. and so he's kind of the mentor or whatever uh he's the jj dylan so to speak I got you. uh except i think he still wrestles yeah he does and uh but that's my the bruise weights mm -hmm. or you know southern horseman or whatever well, uh, after so, you go over your tangent, I want to say, ask your opinion on one thing, I, and I'll give my All right, my tangent is simply this, like, you you see all these fans online that, oh, my God, WWE doesn't do any, they're not doing it right, they don't use this guy right, they should have been doing this, should have been doing that. So now that they've got something on the Indies, they're super popular, I hope it goes to WWE. Well, if you like it on the Indies so much, and you hate what WWE does with it, why do you want to Like, it makes absolutely no sense. You can see it for free. I guess, man. That's I don't know. Honestly. It's like, well, I hope they make it to WWE, but I know WWE's going to screw it up. But then why do you want them to go? Shut up. You know? So that's my tangent. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, we talked about it a little bit on the last uh, recording, but that's one because I just listened to Jim Cornette talk about it this morning. <laughs> but Jim Cornette more or less saying, I've had to admit it now like three or four times like I've been wrong. Yeah. But Imagine like that. him yeah. having to put the uh, well, not having to, he wanted to the put rock in the roll. Rock and Roll Express. I mean, I, I think it's great. I, I honestly think his speech will probably be the best speech of the night. Oh, I mean, he's a talker. You know what I mean? But you know. right now, I don't see anybody else they got that's going to top it. But I, I really want. If I'm going to watch the Hall of Fame for anything, it's going to be him, for, for him to induct the right. Rock and Roll Express. I don't even know who's in the Hall of Fame this year. Uh, Kurt Angle, Rock and Roll, Teddy Long. That's cool. And uh, D D D D DDP. I thought I saw that. And the woman is uh, Beth. Beth Phoenix. Yeah, I didn't exactly agree really with that. Think. I thought it was too early. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's not. I'm pretty positive or somebody else, but I just can't think of anybody. Right. Else. Rick Reed. That's oh, it. that's Rick cool. Reed. And I thought that he was another one I was kind of interested in. Just, I don't know who's going to do it. But uh, then, then they had, like, Kurt Angle doing the induction for Angle, and I don't agree with that at Kurt all. Kurt Angle doing it for Angle? Yeah. I mean... John Cena. John Cena doing it for Kurt I Angle, and I, I don't agree with that at all. Uh, I, I'm indifferent. I mean, I would have had Mr. America do it. I would, he wanted Austin. Yeah. That's Austin's going to pull a crowd. Yeah. Nobody... Look. Mr. America will pull a crowd? Who the hell's Mr. America? Mr. America. Introducing, inducting... phone calls we've had so far sorry guys for the, the buzzing you're hearing yeah, the phone goes out yeah. buzzes, can't find no shade <laughs> all right well that was our top eight update on uh tag team wrestling that's it so uh, a little tangent a little tangent from you and uh so uh hey hope you enjoy it <laughs>